This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today and learn how to diversify your portfolio for future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and in the first pinned comment. James Kaufman will news report today, February 16th. 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. An X flare from the quote unquote danger zone. Sunspot AR3576, our old friend, erupted earlier today at 6.53 UTC time, producing a brief but intense X2.5 class solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory, SDO, saw huge plumes of plasma flying away from the blast site. As these images show, sunspot AR3576 is near the sun's western limb, no longer facing Earth. You might think that that means our planet is safely outside the line of fire. In fact, the opposite is true. AR3576 is entering a danger zone where the sun and the earth are magnetically connected, i.e. the spiral effect. This phenomenon is explained in more detail below. See the dangers of sunspots that don't face earth. Now we actually covered that story yesterday on either this or the main channel, the dangers of sunspots that don't face earth. This solar flare hit with a pulse of energetic protons shown on a plot from NOAA's GOES-18 satellite. This is our GOES-18 proton flux. It shows protons, i.e. radiation, heavy protons. Uh, and you can see the impact time period right here. As said, 6.53 UTC time. And we can see that it did not bring us back into a radiation and proton storm. We'll take a look at the poles and see if we're still in a polar absorption event in just a second. The magnetic connection between Earth and AR3576, the sunspot, allowed this pulse to reach us despite the fact that the sunspot is not facing our planet. Notably, the pulse was relatively rich in what we call hard protons, the bad ones, guys with energies upwards of 50 MeV, which are effective at upsetting satellite electronics and more. Another X-flare from AR3576 this weekend could trigger a full-fledged radiation storm, which we just got out of. Actually, we just got out of two different radiation storms. Possible effects include high-altitude radio blackouts, fogged cameras on Earth-orbiting satellites, and elevated levels of radiation on commercial air flights, hot flights. Stay tuned for any updates. This was a NOAA release. And taking a look at the D Region Absorption Prediction Center, we're definitely still in a polar cap absorption event. See the radiation pouring in the poles all day again. This has just been terrible. We're frying like eggs here, sitting next to the sun. No one seems to be taking note of this, but uh, heavy radiation into both poles for about two weeks now. Not a good situation. We'll play it all the way through. These are additional flares that have occurred today. We'll take a look also at the flaring today, because it looks like we've had several flares and take a look at GOES X-ray flux. Indeed, we had an M-flare prior to the X-flare. It was reported in last night's Space Weather Report. And we've really had a couple of stronger C-flares, but no substantial fl uh, flaring thus far after the X-flare popped off. We'll keep an eye on it and keep you updated. We're maintaining a C-plus baseline. We used to report C-flares. Stay safe out there. Please share our video, please subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.